measuring the capacitance of a capacitor like in kind of uh, not very costly multimeters the capacitor norm is not there means we cannot calculate the capacitor of a capacitor capacitance of a capacitor so what we can do okay so in rc kind of circuit where we have capacitor connected to a resistor in a series and to a voltage source that is a kind of dc direct uh, current so if we have a, a dc source of voltage and rc circuit then voltage across the capacitor would kind of it would slowly it will grow initially there is no voltage it would behave like a short circuit and slowly voltage would grow and it would come to a level when a uh, kind of uh, uh, voltage is uh, it's a static there is no rise in the voltage capacitor is fully charged there is no current flowing in the circuit okay so if i if i say there is no current flowing in the circuit i tend to zero so or voltage tends to whatever the maximum voltage it can be. so like uh, in capacitor we have the voltage equation where voltage source and resistance and capacitance and time is there if we differentiate the voltage and and uh, then multiply by the capacitance then we come to a kind of a current mathematics where current equal to 1 by r uh, vs e to the power minus t by r and if current becomes zero means it tends to become zero i mean current becomes insignificant if t is zero at the time zero there will be a spike in the current because it's a short circuit means uh, uh, or uh, the the charge or voltage uh, at that moment uh, it is kind of uh, it will start picking up the the differentiation of the charge at that time the slope of the charge that will happen that will be very high so current initially current will be very high and so it will start reducing in a kind of exponential form or and i i would say in logarithmic form and after some time current will be zero when it will be zero so in capacitance uh, rc circuit there is a terminal like if i see see the formula e to the power minus t by rc then t is the time the time can be 1 rc 2 rc 3 rc 4 rc 5 rc like that so that we can calculate the exponential easily so as per the kind of chart that what we see or at per the mathematics at 5 rc so rc is called time constant also or tau so if rc is 5 um, rc if a uh, kind of uh, time is 5 into the rc then typically current kind of it, it never down to zero it may be very minimum or a or maybe 1 microampere or whatever it next to the zero so if we see kind of uh, uh, in multimeter if we see the total time taken when current uh, when we uh, kind of start charging the capacitor and till current uh, tends to zero if we have that time and if we equate with the pi tau that is pi by 2 rc if i know the r, then total uh, kind of duration of the capacitor charging by pi by r that gives capacity so a uh, kind of an experiment that we will see that uh, uh, pi into rc equal to total time of the capacitor charging so if i know the total time means we will see in ammeter when current becomes zero or tend to zero then we will divide by pi by r and we will calculate the capacity that will see okay so we are at linux min so we'll proceed on slides so this is a, a typical capacitor so the scenario is like this like we have a capacitor for which we have to find the capacitance so 
so this is the capacitor for which we have to find the capacitance and a 156k resistor is connected is kind of uh, it is connected with the capacitor and we'll use simple am ammit uh, multimeter ammeter 2.57 volt uh, battery and then this is the circuit we'll use capacitor resistor ammeter and voltmeter so the, i mean the voltage source ammeter and capacitor all are in kind of connected in series so we'll see kind of little bit overview of so capacitor is kind of uh, it stores voltage and kind of uh, it stores charge so capacitor if uh, voltage provided across the capacitor if it is a discharge capacitor and a dc voltage is provided across the capacitor current starts flowing and current is not constant means the capacitor resistance is variable and the capacitor uh, stores the charge it is not simple resistance it stores the charge and at the beginning the current flow will be high and later the current flow will be slow and it comes to zero when capacitor is fully charged so uh, that is the scenario so the fully charged capacitor has charge q so at any time it is qt where the voltage across the capacitor that is developed is vt c is constant so this c we have to find so that is the idea so at any moment if i is the current then current is dq by dt so that is the kind of mathematical relationship now suppose i have a current graph okay then dq by dt is current means q is the area so q is the area and for the area if we differentiate then it gives the line equation so that is the it so qt is the area okay so uh, if i is uh, this same this curve then q is the area so initially area will be zero because uh, uh, charge has just started getting stored and slowly area will grow and it will grow up to a kind of it will become constant so charge will become kind of uh, it won't grow beyond that and here it is same like uh, uh here charge is the area and the i is the curve here both are curve if area is converted to curve it will become like this and this is the i so that is the relationship there is no resistance there is guy called capacitance so that this constant capacitance we have to measure where vt is vt and qt are variable and it are variable so that is the idea using simple voltmeter okay so okay now we have taken a rc circuit where capacitor is connected to resistance in series and voltage source is applied now we will take a formula like uh, the voltage in the loop that will be voltage across r and voltage across c that is voltage in the loop that is vs r and c if that is the case then we will proceed vc is nothing but qt by c that we have seen and it is r by r into it it become dq by dt and slowly we will come to a formula called dt equal to cr dq by cv minus v qt so this is a typical a uh, differential equation and we will kind of imagine that cv minus vs qt is u then differentiation of dq equal to minus du and it leads to dt equal to cr minus du by u and if i proceed on the integration up to time t then finally it leads to a formula vt equal to vs 1 minus e minus t by cr okay so current would be dv by c so current is dq by dt so c dv by dt 
and finally it comes to a state where current is 1 by r and vs minus t by c so actually we have a kind of uh, this formula uh, we can calculate through python code and we have generated a kind of uh, uh, curve a graph and up to 90 seconds so up to 90 seconds we measure the current where we have register as 56k the what we have shown here 56 okay so uh, okay so now if it is 56k and vs is 2.57 or something and r again we know okay and kind of uh, for a hypothetical uh, capacitance we have drawn a current curve and kind of uh, uh, this is a typical curve of a current in the uh, in the capacitor and we can see at one point uh, current become kind of uh, saturated it won't grow beyond that so current is flowing and beyond this it is not flowing it is kind of zero okay so uh, if we take a kind of a hypothetical capacitor and this is the relationship then typically at 5 cr means if time is 5 cr then current tends to zero okay so we'll stick to this principle at 5 cr 5 into cr uh, cr is also called time constant or tau so 5 into time constant at that moment current becomes zero and it proceeds as zero so that is the idea so uh, we'll proceed with the kind of calculating this stuff this is a electrolytic capacitor and we'll measure the capacitance of this capacitor okay and this is the uh, this is 56 kilo ohm register that we have connected to the kind of positive side of it so we'll see what is the capacitance of this capacitor okay so we'll use the power source as a kind of two double a battery uh, where it is uh, uh, the maximum power is i mean the power what it generates is Two point five six five seven volt, and we'll use a, a simple a digital multimeter, and we'll use the uh, ammeter section that is in micro ampere. Okay, so we have made the connection. Now it is ammeter based, so we'll place it to ammeter, and it is. Uh, micro ampere and uh, ammeter is connected with the negative of the battery and positive of the ammeter is connected with the capacitor and it is at per the diagram and now the positive of the battery will connect here and we will see the measurement in the ammeter ok so it started with 41 and we can see that uh, initially it was very sharp and current is uh, kind of decreasing initially current was 41 micro ampere okay so we'll leave it i mean, I mean no, now the current flow is less so now it is 5 micro ampere 4 and now it is even so this is a kind of exponential curve where beginning the slope will be higher and at the end slope will be low so we will wait it till it reaches 1 
okay so it reached one so uh, this much time it took to charge so that is the scenario now we'll calculate the voltage across the capacitor we'll disconnect the capacitor all along so now there is nothing in the capacitor so it is so we'll measure the voltage across the capacitor how much it is what is the battery voltage so battery voltage is Two point five six volt, and we'll measure the capacitor voltage. How much it has reached? Okay, two point four. It reached. It is decreasing, so it would have reached higher than that. Okay, it is two point two eight. So it is decreasing. So capacitor is getting discharged. Okay, so uh, reading is ready, and at the beginning at zero uh, there is no stable reading, and beyond that there is a stable reading. We can see. So left side is the second, and that is micro. That is the micro ampere. and at 59.5 it reaches 1 and it stays at 1 so we consider that it is kind of 1 that is the minimum and stable uh current so we talked about 5 uh, 5s into cr uh 5 into cr or 5 into rc so that is a place where kind of uh, uh the current is kind of minimal and it is 10 to 0 and it is stable so 5 into cr uh that we uh we think that it is 59.5 so as per the calculation now it's time for the calculation so 59.5 second where we expect 5 into rc is there okay so that comes to uh c equal to 59.5 by 5 into 56k and it is kind of 212 microfarad so it is kind of uh, uh, 220 microfarad is the capacitor uh, reading it is written there so we are close to it so this is how kind of we can approximate so with 220 microfarad uh, we drew the curve as per the equation so green is this is what and red is what is 212 what we are getting and it is almost similar okay so this is how we can calculate so idea is that we have to get uh, uh, so this is uh, to 212 microfarad so so that is the idea so this is what we measured is it is dual by 2 micro per okay so this is again the 220 micro farad that is written so i think it's considerable with this step so okay so here we saw the actual the uh, i equal to dq by dt where the q is cv and then we deduce the formula and finally we came to i t equal to 1 by r vs e to power minus t by c r if t is 5 into cr then we see current tends to zero so we go for for actual calculation at 59.5 we see that one is stable so it is kind of tend to zero 
then 59.5 equal to 5 into RC and it comes to uh, 212 microfarad and then we wrote a python code considering as 220 microfarad and that is the green curve and read what we got in experimental and it is almost the same. This is how we can kind of uh, get assessment of the uh, capacitor.